I don't want a broken toy. <laughs> nothing. What? Nothing. I said nothing. That was weird. Really? I don't even notice anymore. <sighs> I cannot believe you guys aren't going to play with these. I told you, you don't. It's mint in box. I don't know. I just think it's a waste. <laughs> I'm just looking at the box. Perhaps you should look with your eyes and, and not your muscular Nebraska man hands. What is your problem? My problem is that I don't want you to break Leonard's toy, which you probably did by shaking it. She shook it. We all saw her. Leonard, I bought you this because I wanted you to have fun with it. I don't want it to sit in this box. You know, you're right. I mean, it's from you. I'm never going to sell it. I'm opening it. Yes. Oh, nice job, man hands. I didn't break it. I, I guess Stuart sold it to me like this. Yes. Yes, he did. That is a perfectly satisfying and plausible explanation. Let's all be mad at Stuart. You know, I paid a lot for this. Let's take it over there and show him. Absolutely. Wait. It was me. I opened your toy, discovered it was broken, and didn't tell you. Why would you open mine? I didn't. That was a lie. I opened my own toy, and it was already broken, so I switched them. Well, you should talk to Stuart. I can't, because that was a lie. Yours was broken in an earthquake, and that's a lie. What is the truth? My Mr. Spock doll came to me in a dream and forced me to open it. And when the toy broke, I switched it for yours. Later, he encouraged me to do the right thing, and I defied him. And then I was attacked by a Gorn. Okay, that I believe. Mm. Leonard, Penny, I just, I want you both to know that I regret my actions towards the two of you. That's a lie. So, is that one mine? Yes. Well, hand it over so I can open it. Okay. And, Leonard, even though I don't have one anymore, I hope you have fun playing with it. And that's a lie, it's right? It's a big fat whopper. <laughs> I hope it breaks.